The day they buzzed Washington, as retold by UFO Flying Saucers No. 1. On the night of July 19, 1952, at the National Airport in Washington. Uh-oh, those eight radar targets, they suddenly popped up from nowhere. They seem to be headed for Andrews Air Force Base, but Andrews usually warns us of any flights in this area. Suddenly. Hey, what's up? Those planes were loafing along at 130 knots, and then suddenly, they streaked out of range at incredible speed. Must be a malfunction. We'll call in the radar technician. But when the radar is checked... Nothing wrong with this unit, sir. Everything's in perfect working order. Then why do we keep on sighting those unidentified targets? Then, as to confirm the radar report... Capital Airlines flight to National Airport Tower. I've just spotted one of your mysterious radar targets, and wow, she took off at right angles and at fantastic speed. Later, at nearby Andrews Air Force Base. Arab Traffic Control, at National Airport calling Andrews AFB. What goes on there? We've got a stationary target parked just south of your tower. We'll check at once. Good grief, look! A fiery orange sphere hovering right over the field. What is it? Where did it come from? In the week that follows, the Air Force jets are scrambled over the Capitol again and again. Another UFO sighting! Let's go, Ben! But the results are always the same. Flight leader to tower! Target streaks out of sight again! No one ever identified the mystery craft which buzzed Washington. <laughs>